Hey, it's your girl, Mommy Mocha, aka Tavana. So I'm back with another video from me and Ma. Oh, okay. Oh, I just scratched my leg. But yes, I'm back with a video about breastfeeding. Okay, right now I'm currently pumping. Okay, you can't see nothing. Okay, so I'm just telling y'all a little bit of what I am doing to keep my supply um, up. Right now, my baby girl is 10 weeks. Okay, so that's two months and two weeks. Right? And so what I've been doing is... See, this is not for everybody, so you cannot compare and contrast your, your, you know. I'm using a Spectra 2 pump. Okay. I pump every two to three hours. Um, I think I'm getting about 46 hours. Excuse me. 46 hours to sleep at night. Um, which isn't a whole lot, okay? I am trying to get rest on day two, but it's been a little hectic here with all my children at home. Um, but we've been have we have been making nap time mandatory, okay? And so, um, right now it's a weekend, so they're all the everybody's out in the other room watching movies and enjoying yourself. Um, I'm just going back and forth on the line, looking at highlights of the Yankees and Pirates game, because I'm a Yankees fan. Um, so, um, basically this is how I get my supply up. I drink plenty of armor, body armor, okay? This is the strawberry banana flavor. Okay, yes, it's high in calories. It's 28 grams of sugar. Um, which is a lot, I feel like. But I think it's a lot of sugar because it got 700, um, mega, let me see. Let me see what it is. So it has, um, magnesium, vitamin B12, B6, vitamin E, vitamin A. Potassium, vitamin C, um, like I said, now, okay, it has zinc too, okay. So it's 26 grams of added sugar, which I wouldn't normally consume, but um, I started drinking these because I heard it helps your shift to ply. Um, and then I fell in love with them, okay? These are regular calories. Uh, I, I like the light body armor. So, if you're... I'm, I'm not a dietitian, okay? Nutritionist, okay? So, don't add me, please. Um, so, if you, you know, are trying to up your supply, just, you know, just keep drinking fluids. Keep doing what you think you're supposed to be doing. Um... But me personally, I am drinking the body armor, sharp banana, and light. Um, and also, I can show you in the video. Is a well. This is a lot. So this is my box that came yesterday. Um, these are my lactation cookies, and I like these because um, they're really good. Um, I have. There's no fenugreek in here. And the calories they have in here are, they're up there in calories, okay? But you as a breastfeeding mom know that um, you need to consume all, like, 10 bags in one sitting, okay? But, um, 2 grams of, uh, excuse me, just 2 grams of fiber, 16 grams of added sugars, okay? 10% iron, there's a more mat potassium, cholesterol and sodium is 14 and 
but they do work for me, okay? A lot of people, let me show you because I'm sitting here at these here. Everybody gets these things called brewer yeast powder, okay? You can put this in your food, your drinks, okay? And then I also have these called booby bark snack fuller. Okay, I have those too. And these are vegan free, vegan, gluten free, soy free, and dairy free. And they're like a cookie crunch, and they're um 150 calories and a half cup. Okay, and so I drink that also. Um. On top of that, I'm eating, I have a high fiber diet, protein diet, okay? Um, that's just for me, personally. Um, so I do the high fiber fruits and vegetables. Um, I'm cutting back on dairy, um, not because I'm breastfeeding. So yes, I'm cutting back on protein, excuse me, um, dairy for myself because I'm slowly um, going back to um, eating vegan again. Right now, I'm just um, slowly eliminating foods and stuff like that because I got a lot of digestive problems and some problems and allergies and I'm finally going to slowly remove them because I still got to eat some stuff. I'm going to finish pumping, but yeah, I do all that stuff, plus eat healthy, um, I eat like tuna once a week, um, when I first came home from the hospital, I was like on a low calorie diet, right, so I pretty much continued with that, and slowly, well, I cut back on a lot of stuff, um, I don't eat pork, really, well, I was only eating pork sausage, and I finished my bacon because, you know, bacon was like $20. She sold a packet and it was real thick. It was that good bacon you get from, um, you know, um, like the International House of Pancake Place. So, yeah, we used that up. Um, not fast enough because it kind of like went bad and stuff. Um, but not only that, but, um, I don't really eat pork no more. Well, I don't eat pork no more. Um, really don't really eat chicken either. Like, once in a while, like, I crave, like, some baked fried chicken, and it's really good. Um, and when I do eat chicken, it's like, like, teriyaki, and I make that by hand with the sauce and stuff. Um, but I generally eat healthy. I haven't started working out yet. Slowly. But I do a lot of cleaning and housework. So that's going to be workout in itself. Um, but I am going to start using my resistant bands and do weight lifting soon. And, you know, toning up and stuff. Let me see what else I do. Look how beautiful my hair is. And I still try to take, like, a premium vitamins, too. As well, because that's super important. Taking up your vitamins and your other vitamins and eating super healthy. Yeah, I'm going to cut right here. Mm. That's weird. So, yeah. That's pretty much what I do to um, obtain my supply. And, um... Oh, the bottle. So, this is... Let me see... So I got 75 mLs. I don't know if I won't. And usually when I do a pumping session, like sometimes I only get to like 40, okay? Okay. And this is 
me from being both sides. So now it's pretty much like almost two and a half, okay? Almost three. And some days I do get like four, two on each side. So like, um, right now she's drinking four ounces, um, every four hours, okay? And so like, I don't have enough milk sometimes, so I had to supplement, um, with some lactose. So she was in a premature can. When we came home from the hospital, the doctor said we gotta switch over to a less calorie soon because she came home at four pounds and now she's at eight pounds. And that's within like, she's been home since the second week of February. So now we're at the end of March now. So yeah, she gained four pounds in that short time. Wait, yeah, she's almost eight pounds now, so. I'm very proud of her. She's doing super good with the breast milk. She is not latching, so I'm still pumping every two to, two to four hours. We said we were say two to four hours because sometimes be like every three hours, or you know, I get it in. But I still try to pump like seven to eight times a day. And then there's days where I pump twenty on both sides, then ten on both sides. Um. I do that for like three. Oh. So then it'd be a total of an hour on one side and an hour on the other side. And I just, excuse me, I touch my boots. But like, um, probably gonna rape pump again, but my boobs are really hurting. So I think I'm gonna get a heating pad or take a hot shower. Cause I don't want my boobs to get my teases or anything and being aggressive. But I also need to get me some new flanges too. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was just using, what size I was using. This was 28. Yeah, I'm going to try to go up to like 30 and see if that works good. What's up my eye? Oh, that's a light? I was like, what is that? Oh, uh, girl, I was tripping. I was like, what's that light? Well, it might be the light from coming outside. Yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm straight tripping. It was all scared at that. I was looking at my eyeball. Oh my gosh. But yeah, sleep is super important. You know, if people be like, do you ever go more than six hours of sleeping? Yeah. Because you have to. Like, you know, like, I love giving my baby breast milk. And you're not going to get more milk in unless your breasts are empty. But at the same time, you have to take care of your mental health and your sanity. Because... That's like super important, and this is my baby's pillow, my two-year-old hair on my pillow I'm laying on, um, because she usually comes in at mommy's room to take a nap, but she don't want to take a nap today, but she's too busy hanging out with her day. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm getting into stuff, so I'm going to head, head out, take a nap soon. But I just wanted to come on here and talk about what I've been doing for, you know, breastfeeding and increasing my milk. Um, this is personally for me, okay? So, like, I cut out pork and chicken um, and dairy. Because, um, like I said, I was slowly going back to being vegan. Um, and uh, this is just me, okay? Um, of my vegetables, I have my vegetables, my fiber, and protein. Okay, um, and I've been doing pretty good. Like I said, I'm doing you no know, exercises and stuff, house cleaning and stuff. I'm still super sore from my cesarean back in January. Okay, 
that comes and goes. I'm not happy about going back to the doctor to make sure everything is still good and stuff. But I know I got a lot of, um, you know, it's going to take some time to fully heal. So if it's anything like my daughter, then, you know, I'll be looking at a year from now. But that's what I've been personally doing for myself, okay? As you can see in my bags, the next video will probably be like a, you know, yeah, I finally got some rest and what our morning routine is. And that'll be a different video. And then, yeah, so I'm super excited and I hope y'all have a great day. And yes, then we can continue to enjoy, you know. The with the weather changes and stuff like that. Some places are still getting snow. Um, we're gonna get some snow here too as well where we live, and hopefully it gets a lot better with people with seasonal depression and the warm air gets people outdoors and stuff. But I have a great day. Goodbye.